Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. Today I'm going to answer a question, and it's um, a question that comes up quite often. Um, today, most people have more than one computer. You have a, a desktop and a laptop. Some, you know, desktops are pretty cheap, so it's not uncommon for a house to have two or three desktops or more. So, thing is, if you're using Stamp Manage, obviously you don't want to have separate databases for each computer. You want to work off one database in most instances anyway so the question is this I purchased an upgrade to the stamp manager deluxe this last year and I'm currently trying to use the program on two computers the problem is that I have the wrong database directory on my laptop needless to say I can't move files back and forth how do I change the database directory on my laptop to match my other computer do I deactivate the license on the laptop and reinstall or is there an easier way well, there's several ways to um, use the com use the program on on separate computers from the same data, and we'll go over them. This video may take a while, so anyway, um, one thing pe most people don't know is Stamp Manage is multi-user capable, which means multiple people can be working on the same database file at the same time, and what that means is right now I have an installation of Stamp Manage here and it's using the local database file in C users Liberty Street but for the pur for the purpose of this uh, demo I created a shared folder on another computer in another office and I'm going to connect to it now so basically just like tools preferences hit the three dot button there and it's on a local network so you open network takes a while to read all the computers on the network so it's in the Liberty Street 64 machine and here's the shared file folder it's called deluxe data and I shared it on on another machine in, in another room so I hit OK and what you see now is the database that is residing on the shared folder in the other on the other machine um, now two people can be using the program at the same time using this database making changes at the same time merging data files it sounds good but there's always problems for example let's say two separate people enter the same stamp when, you, when it comes time to merge the file uh, how is the software going to know whether there's two separate stamps or it's the same stamp uh, you can run into all sorts of problems like that so it's better to work from one file if if the if the situation warrants it so now that I've done that um, you could hook up another computer and when you install it you can also specify the data folder uh, I've done it from the preferences um, you can also when you install it just set Liberty Street 64 deluxe data as the or whatever your network path is is going to be where the data folder is. And once you've done that, every computer in your home that's attached to that home network will be using the same data file. Now, this is good for, I'd say, five to ten computers. Another thing you can do is use an external drive. So, you can buy these pretty cheap uh, external drives. You just plug in with one of your USB ports you can get all tons of data one terabyte two terabytes cost hundred dollars and the price is coming down every every month it gets cheaper so another thing you can do is change the data folder to something on your external drive now I've already entered data into this program the data is Stamp manage data, so I'll change it back to there. And that was the original data. Now I'm going to have to basically uh, create a folder on the external drive. And the way to do that is here's the external drive here. So what you can do on the external drive is right mouse click, select new folder, stamp manage data 
course it's empty for now and then back in the computer on the your machine on your um, stamp manage program you're going to select go to data folder and that takes that shows you the local file the local data folder now you exit because the data file is locked until you exit the program and you basically just move your data file to the newly created folder on the external drive. Actually, move is not a good word. It's better to copy and make sure you still have the file here because you're going to run the program again. And when you run it, it's still looking at the data in, in the Liberty Street My Document Stamp Manage Data folder. But now we're going to change the data folder again. This time, we select My Passport. And here's the file, the folder I created. Stamp manage data. Okay. Okay. So now, now every time we run the program, it's going to be using this data folder on an external drive. And now, why an external drive? Because basically, what you're going to do in this situation is just move the external drive to whichever computer you're using to inventory your stamp manage data. So. Uh, Let's say you've been doing some inventory here, and then you let's say you're going down to Florida for a couple months or something like that. You're going to take your laptop, unplug your external drive, plug it into your laptop, uh, point uh, your stand managed installation there to the same folder on the external drive, and you'll be using the same data. So I hope that clarifies some things. Uh, and like I said, this is a very common question. If you have any more, uh, if there's anything that's not uh, been cleared up, feel free to email us or comment on this video. Thank you very much.